sunshine when she goes away. Like I said, you know, uh, I want that fight. You know, if it happens, it happens. You know, I've been calling for it for years now. You know, if it don't, it don't. Uh, if I can't get the uh, the uh, Spence Ugas winner, you know, I would I would love to get the uh, Jamel and Castanio winner. No, you know, I can have a fight and then you know be undisputed at 154. There's no secret in the boxing world that Terence Crawford been calling Errol Spence out for a minute. And in my eyes, Errol Spence does not want any part of Terence Crawford. And it looks like Crawford is gonna wait to April 16th, see if the winner will step to him and ask for the fight. Now, Ugas has already said, if I win the fight, I want Terence Crawford next because being undisputed at 147 is my goal. No one's clear at what Errol Spence is gonna do if he becomes victorious. And as a boxer fan, that's the fight I want to see. That is the fight at 147. But to me, it's unlikely it's gonna happen. Spence might try to escape the 154, and that's why Terrence Crawford is talking about fighting the winner of Jermel Charlo and Brian Costano. Since Crawford is WBO champion, from what I'm hearing, he can install himself as being the mandatory at 154. Downside of that is Castano and Charlo are still PBC fighters. So the winner could vacate that belt and he's back where he started. If I had to pick one out of the two, Castano or Charlo that would fight Terrence Crawford if they won, I think Castano would be more willing to fight Terrence Crawford than Charlo. But at the end of the day, it's their daddy's decision who is Al Heyman. So far, Crawford being a free agent hasn't changed anything. I don't see neither one of these guys fighting Terrence Crawford. I'm telling you, he's gonna have to fight Virgil Ortiz or Jerron Ennis. And even if Errol Spence chooses to stay at 147, it looks like his next opponent will be Keith Thurman, not Terrence Crawford. So where I'm sitting, there's not too many options for Terrence Crawford. He's in a tough spot right now. De La Hoya talks on both sides of his mouth. Let me give you an example. I mean, he's eventually gonna fight all four, uh, but I would love to see uh, the Bivoli fight. I think I think that that can be very interesting. And then obviously the unfinished business with uh, with, with Triple G, yeah, with Galati. So that'll be, I, in my eyes, the best option. If I was if I was uh, in in Canelo's ear, I would, you know me, Lance. I would go for the toughest guys. I would go for Benavides and, and Charlo, um, obviously. You know, the monies that are being offered are almost the same, but, you know, I strongly feel that Canelo uh, wants to be great. He wants to break records. Yeah. So in, in, in order for him to do that, hopefully he'll pick, um, he'll pick Benavides and Charlo uh, and, and make a lot of money at the same time. So he's literally, he's literally, you know, hitting two birds with one stone here. He can make a lot of money and fight the very best and continue with his legacy. Now you see what I'm saying. According to Oscar De La Hoya, he should fight the best and the toughest competition out there. And to Oscar De La Hoya, now it is Jamal Charlo and David Benavides. And I like David Benavides. But how is he the best out there for Canelo to fight? And I like David Benavides. But who has he beaten at 168 to tell us that he's the best 168 pounder out there? Is it just the eye test? Has he fought any champions? And this is coming from a guy who wants to see Benavides and Canelo fight. But I'm not ready to say he's the best at 168. And what about Charlo? How is Charlo one of the best over Triple G in Beevil? If you stack Triple G's and Bevo's resumes against Benavides and Charlo's resume, who has a better resume? Bevo and Triple G. Triple G has fought Canelo twice, both close fights, and some people think Triple G won both of those. To me, it's very simple. Bevo is an undefeated light heavyweight champion. Canelo's trying to be undisputed in two weight classes. That choice alone beats Benavides and Charlo. Second, Triple G, Canelo Trilogy will probably outsell Charlo in a Benavides fight. Now I do agree with De La Hoya when he says this, it's a possibility that Canelo's gonna fight all four of these guys anyway. 
But I think the best option, the first option should be Bivol and Triple G. Even though I would like to see Benavides, he has nothing to offer though. Leave your thoughts in comments below. Jay Beasy, I'm gone.